This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 2512. Can being grateful actually make you wealthier? By Kelly Long with FinancialFinesse.com. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. We're gonna get right to today's post as we optimize your life. Can Being Grateful Actually Make You Wealthier? by Kelly Long with FinancialFinesse.com. It's my favorite time of year, and not just because my birthday falls amid the hubbub of the holidays. Okay, maybe that's part of it. I just love the coziness, the family time, the decorations, the traditions, and of course, the food. One tradition that I look forward to every year is how my family goes around the table before the Thanksgiving meal to say what we're grateful for. It was something my grandmother started decades ago that we all carry into the homes we share for the meal today. It's always so renewing to spend time thinking about what I'll say. There have been years where there didn't seem to be a lot to give thanks for, but after focusing on what's good, some of the bad stuff seems less impactful. It turns out that this family tradition could really be about more than a moment of family sharing. There's scientific evidence mounting that the simple practice of giving thanks can have a myriad of positive benefits in life. In fact, a regular practice of gratefulness can actually help with your finances. What is gratitude? First, it's important to understand that gratitude is actually made up of two parts, according to Robert Emmons, PhD, who's considered to be the leading scientific expert on gratitude. The first is what most of us already know. It's an affirmation of goodness in our lives, even when there are things going wrong. An example is giving thanks for the love of family and friends, even if you've recently lost someone close to you. But the second part is where it can really manifest in more of what you really want. It's recognizing that the sources of that goodness come from outside of ourselves. It means we can realize that the gifts for which we are giving thanks came from other people, or in some cases, a higher power, should you believe in one. We can certainly appreciate the traits we have that help us in life, but real gratitude is the humble acknowledgement that much of what we have is due to the generosity and goodness of others. How does it work? Dr. Emmons has found that gratitude brings several benefits, increased happiness, stronger relationships, less anxiety, longer sleep, and better overall health and resiliency. It's that final piece, resiliency, that can really help you find more financial success when you're able to quickly bounce back from setbacks, such as earning too little, spending too much, or finding yourself overwhelmed with debt. Gratitude also helps block negative emotions and helps you quickly find solutions and get working on them. With that in mind, here are three ways to add more gratitude to your daily life all year long. Number one, keep a daily gratitude journal. My friend Ellen Rajan observes in her book, Picture Your Prosperity, that people who were overspenders in her practice talked a lot about what they didn't have in their lives, while good savers talked about what they were thankful for. In one study, people who kept a gratitude journal reported increased well-being, better health, more exercise, and increased optimism. I know Oprah is a big fan of this. When we acknowledge and give thanks for what we do have instead of lamenting what we don't, we open ourselves up to receiving more of what we want. As you're keeping your journal, think of the positive aspects of your finances. Perhaps you're working to pay down debt, but you still give thanks for the ability to make your payments on time each month. Number two, foster an attitude of abundance. Don't just write about what you're grateful for. Expect more of what's good and it will appear. The law of attraction says that what we focus our attention and energy on will manifest itself in our lives. I experienced this myself. When I was first working to dig myself out of credit card debt, all I could see was how long it was going to take me to pay it off. And I was preoccupied with what else I could be doing with that money. I was on the financial struggle bus. But when I shifted my mindset to placing my debt payments in the category of just another bill and trusted the plan I had put together, I was better able to enjoy the money I wasn't spending on debt 
and actually found myself able to pay off the debt sooner than I'd planned. And number three, give some away. Hopefully you already know how great it feels to give to others, but research by Dr. Arthur Brooks, PhD, finds that as people give more, their incomes actually increase. Of course, people who make more give more, but Dr. Brooks found that as people's charitable contributions increased, so did their income. A study comparing two similar families where one family simply donated 100 more than the other found that the higher giving family will earn an average of $375 more income that year than the other one. It sounds a little crazy, but consider this. Giving money away or spending it on others has a tendency to make you feel more wealthy. This causes you to feel happier and greater happiness tends to lead to greater career success. So there you have it. Want to get promoted? Maybe it's time to start giving more freely to those not yet at your level. Why not try it? The best part about all of this is that focusing on being more grateful really doesn't take that much. And even if you don't find yourself immediately swimming in abundance, I'll wager you'll feel better no matter what. Can you really put a price on that? You just listened to the post titled, Can Being Grateful Actually Make You Wealthier? by Kelly Long with FinancialFinesse.com. Labor strikes, climate change, your beat up office printer. What do they all have in common? Come on, it's about the money. Economics is everywhere and everything, fueling our lives, even where we least expect it. If you're a fan of Optimal Finance Daily and are curious to learn something new and exciting about economics every week, I recommend you listen to the Planet Money podcast from NPR. Planet Money is a different kind of world where the complex economy actually makes sense. Listeners can learn, laugh, and be entertained. And in addition, I find it to be really educational. Money can be confusing. And Planet Money is great at providing straightforward explanations for how money is really moving in ways we're usually kept in the dark about. The Planet Money team lives to tell a good story in around 30 minutes. It's econ for the rest of us. Tune in to Planet Money every week for entertaining stories and insights about how money shapes our world, stories that can't be found anywhere else. Listen now to Planet Money from NPR, wherever you get your podcasts. This article was a great reminder that so much of our behavior around our money revolves around our mindset. Two people in the exact same financial situation could have wildly different experiences all due to their perspective. I can see in myself that as I got more focused on financial independence, I've struggled with a scarcity mindset from time to time. Because I prioritize saving and investing, I can have a tendency to demonize spending or feel disappointed when expenses pop up. So for example, recently my fiance needed to spend $1,500 on a car repair. In the grand scheme of things, it's not a big deal. We simply needed to adjust how much money was moved to investments that month. Initially, we felt a pang of disappointment, but we reminded ourselves that this is why we have money. The fact that we can easily pay that expense without taking on debt or struggling to make ends meet should be celebrated with gratitude. I also like how the article pointed out generosity as something worthy of our attention. Recently, I was introduced to someone by a mutual friend and we agreed to meet for coffee. Since I got there first, I asked if I could order something for them and I also picked up some pastries for us to share. It was a $7 act of generosity that made a wildly positive first impression and the meeting went well. We identified an area where I could help them, which could lead to business opportunities in the future. I've seen in my own life that generosity and appreciation goes a long way in helping us experience feelings of abundance when it comes to money. And I hope you notice that too. And that will do it for today. Have a great rest of your day and start to your weekend if you're listening in real time. And I'll be back here over the weekend where your optimal life awaits.